Hello everyone, welcome to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be presenting you static cardiology cards and scenarios and a 1 minute and 30 second timer to allow you time to finish each card. This time closely mimics the average time that you should be spending on each card in the National Registry Static Cardiology Station. At the end of the card, I'll give you the answer and an explanation for the treatment. Good luck! Three, two, one. So in this card, we're given a scenario that involves a teenager who experimented with a party drug and is now presenting with this rhythm. If we look closely here, this is a wide, complex tachycardic rhythm going about 180 beats per minute. Now I don't see any semblance of a P wave, and because the QRS complex is wide and the morphology remains consistent, I will identify this rhythm as monomorphic B tach. Remember, the aesthetic cardiology station on the National Registry exam doesn't just grade you for identification of the rhythm. You do have to offer a treatment, and that's based on whether or not the patient is stable or unstable. Let's go ahead and take a look at the story here to determine if they're stable or unstable. Now, for unstable criteria, I use the acronym CHAD, and that stands for cardiac insufficiency, hypotension, altered mental status, and dyspnea. So let's take a look at this story in greater detail and determine if this patient is stable or unstable. The patient is awake and alert. The patient denies chest pain or shortness of breath. And vital signs are as follows. Blood pressure is 140 over 72, pulse of 180, respiration is 18, and the SpO2 is 99% on room air. Based on the patient's presentation, I would determine that this is a stable VTAC because the patient does not meet any of the CHAD criteria. They don't show any signs of end organ failure, nor are they hypotensive, nor are they altered mental status, nor are they dysmic or have a low SpO2 or the need to be ventilated mechanically. So I would consider this a stable monomorphic VTAC. So treatment for this stable monomorphic VTAC will follow contemporary AHA ACLS guidelines. The tricky thing about static cardiology is you do have to remember that your patient's condition will not change despite correct or incorrect treatment. So you have to remember that all you're doing for the station is simply following an algorithm. Once you've regurgitated the algorithm or at least hit the main points, you're good to go. Say rapid transport, you get the next card. Let's go over the treatment here. Uh, and I will let you know what I would look for as an evaluator, and I have evaluated these stations before from the National Registry, what I would look for as a passing card. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is regurgitate the mantra, scene safe, BSI, IVO2 monitor. Every single patient in static cardiology gets this. Because this patient is stable, I would then say perform a 12 lead ECG, and then your first line, and really your primary antihistamine that you're going to be using for this patient is amiodarone. Because this patient is stable, you'll be giving 150 milligrams of amiodarone over 10 minutes, 
and you may repeat this up to a total dose of 450 milligrams. So a total of three doses of amiodarone. If you really want some brownie points, now remember that treatment that I just gave you, a scene safe BSI IVO2 monitor 12 lead amiodarone would have been perfect for a card and I would have checked you off at full points as an evaluator. But if you want super duper brownie points, you could consider going down the line. The next drug that we would consider as, as an antidysrhythmic for this patient would be lidocaine. Now you start your doses of lidocaine. Uh, usually the dose range is between 0.5 to 0.75 mg per kg. However, you can also start with a 1 to 1.5 mg per kilogram dose. So that's why I put this range in here of 0.5 to 1.5. This is usually given slowly, sometimes over 10 minutes, and you can repeat this up to a total dose of 3 mg per kilogram. Additionally, you could consider uh, giving a beta blocker medication such as metoprolol, labetalol, or atenolol. And then because the patient in the scenario mentioned that they were anxious, you could consider administering an anxiolytic like lorazepam, like diazepam, or midazolam. That's it. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and stick around for the next static cardiology video. Please make your own playlists, shuffle them around, and you can make your own decks of static cardiology to practice for registry. Have a good rest of your night.